this video is about the modifications that I make to uh, my Ford Escort wiring harnesses. <clears throat> the reasoning behind that is simply that all my cars that that I buy, or, or actually I shouldn't make all of them, I guess some have had the uh, options that I want. Most of the vehicles that I buy are plain Escorts <clears throat> that don't have power windows, locks and crews, and uh, the tilt wheel. So this wiring harness here has the provisions for the crews. It also has the power windows, which is necessary, but this is made for the two-door. These wires right here are the wires for the actual power windows and they go to this plug right here. Now there's a wire on here. It's a black wire. It's black and uh, let's see if I can find it here. Of course I'm not going to be able to show it. There's a big wire on here that, that uh, links the power windows to this from this plug to the back. I actually just solder that on this other side of the harness. On this other side of the harness right here. It's soldered about right here in the harness and uh, actually actually I haven't soldered this one yet it's still open right here is where I solder it I haven't even done that yet it's right here and uh, so I soldered this wire I'm glad I noticed that because which I would have eventually noticed it but I soldered that wire there which it takes the uh, power this goes to the back there's wiring that you have to get for the four door that makes it to where it goes to the back of the car, but uh, but this wiring right here, this wiring right here goes to this this plug right here, and the end of this plug, the end of this plug goes right here, so it goes right to here, and it goes up through here. I don't know if you can see all this, but it goes right to that plug right there, which you can see, and. Uh, you could either look at a diagram or uh, whatever to actually do that. Right now, I'm going to go ahead and, and start getting this wiring in here real quick. Um, I haven't finished it. I got it most way finished. It's ran almost all the way through this harness, but it's not quite done yet. So let me open this up here. Open this up here so I can get this wiring. I need it. There's that. Put that in there. Push this one in. Now, let's here. Try to figure out what I want to do here. I guess instead of opening this up, I guess I'm just going to wrap this with black tape. Actually, I will try to get it through this factory tape here. Let's see if I can do that real quick. I should be able to get it through there. If I get through this factory white tape here, at least try to get through that, and then I'll just tape it. Normally I'll open the harness, but this is a really thick spot of the actual harness, and those wires will go absolutely wild if you open it up because there's just so many wires there. So I'm going to try to get these through here and then just wrap the harness wrap it to where it looks factory. I like actually integrating integrating these wires into the actual into the actual harness itself when I can. But there was certain points there were certain points throughout this process that I actually that I actually just simply there was only actually there was only one spot where I did that, and it was uh, let's see if I can find it. Where it was. It was actually through this part right here. I opened this up and I just put the wires over top of the actual loom. I didn't take the tape off, and I just retaped it, and I put this back on it because it had a it had a hard um, it had a hard cover, and I didn't want to mess with opening that up. I've done it before. Where I've opened it up, but that's not really necessary. None of this is really necessary because 
nobody's ever going to have to open this harness up again. And most people probably won't even, if anybody does buy this car, they'll never even know the work I did. So basically, most of this work that I'm doing is for myself. You know, make it look factory because nobody is even going to know that I've done this, all this work to this car. And they'll, they'll never know it unless I, you know, unless I actually state what I had to do to get this you know, swap to look factory in to, to function as a factory Ford Escort would function. So that is the uh, that's the caveat to that. So let's see here. This good. Let me take these off. Let me take these off for a moment. Take these off for a moment. Try to wrap that real quick. If, let's see here. Let's see. That has nothing to do with it. This harness goes right here. Actually, this goes back here to this side, so I guess. I'm just going to wrap it on this little harness here, which is going to be a pain in the butt. And wrap it there. It's got a really good piece of tape. Wrap it there. And then I'll wrap it past that. That way it doesn't look. Well, let me see. How am I going to do this? I don't want to do it like that, I guess. I can't do it like that. There's not enough room. So I guess I'm just going to have to cut a really big piece of tape and just wrap it. Wrap it to... Uh, Kind of, actually, I'm going to take this back out of this tape because it's not routed exactly the way it needs to be to tape it right. It won't look right, unfortunately. Okay. This is going to be ran under this, this harness here, under this wire harness that goes to the other side. Because otherwise it'll look like it's part of the, uh, it won't look right. So I'm going to put this under here, under this harness here. And put it under this harness here and then go through the tape. And I will be taping it. Although, like I said, it's going to be a pain to do. Now let's run under here again. Let's do this again. Unfortunately. But, I mean, it's... It's not difficult, it's just kind of tedious in a sense. But, you know, it's like I said, it's not even necessary unless you're like me and want it to look factory. It's not even close to necessary, but really, as long as it functions, it doesn't particularly matter. But I just want it to look a certain way. Even though this one's not going to be as good as the, like the way it looks, as the other ones that I've done, because. Like I said, I didn't open the one part of the harness, so it's not going to be quite as good, but nobody's going to notice. So, And really and truly, if I really, if you really think about it, it's not even necessary in the first place. So this is just an optional thing that, that I shouldn't even be messing with because it's just a waste of time, but, you know, I'm... I want it to look right. I want it to be right. So it's anybody can choose to do it however they want, as long as it functions. It doesn't matter. But okay, let me get a big piece of tape here. Get a big piece of tape here and. Wrap that thing up. That should be enough. Should be enough tape. I gotta try to keep it off the dust so it doesn't keep it from sticking. 
that's going to be the other challenge because this is a really dusty table. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. I'm not sure how I'm going to do this yet. But I will figure it out. One little more. What a pain. <laughs> what a pain in the butt, Tox. Ah. Damn, I got a little bit of dust on it. Okay, I think I'm good there. So I'm going to lift this up and slide this under. Now, now I can move on. Now I can move on once I get this thing straight. This tape straight. Come on, tape. got some dust on it, I can feel it, but not a lot. Not enough to uh, hurt it. I just want to make it cleaner. Tons of dust now. I don't know. I get, it's good enough. Actually, I'm just going to cut this piece off and I'm going to add some tape over top of this one because this end piece has got so much dust on it. It ain't really sticking to really. Which is what I was worried about in the first place. But it is what it is. It's not, like I said, it's not that important. But I just wanted to look at close. I mean, at least it's close. At least it's close, and that now I can actually use this whole roll, so I don't have to. I don't have to mess with uh, trying to weave it in and out. It doesn't matter. It'll be an absolute nightmare to Oh, it looks pretty close to factory there, even though I didn't really do it the way I wanted to do it. But it looks pretty factory, so that's great news. Okay. So I got all these through. They're good there. Now, I'm 
these are through this piece of tape. So I'm going to try to move this tape up a little better. Actually, I'm going to it. This tape is going to be in the way for doing what I want. But actually, I guess I can just do it like this. Just do it the similar way. But uh, this tape, as long as it's on there, I don't really care if it sticks. Let's see if I can get this tape loose here. I'd like to move it up if possible, but I'm going to try something I don't know. I don't know. Well, I guess that's, uh, That's all I'm going to do with this, I guess, for now. Um, there's also two more mods you need to do. The first mod is right here. This right here has got to, the sedan one's got to be used. Or else the light will blink fast. The uh, other, the other um, thing needs to be modified is the, uh, is, uh, the uh, find it. It's the it's actually the air conditioning plug. I think this is it right here. Yeah, this is it right here. This air conditioning plug. This air conditioning plug right here. I have to modify it. Which, as you can see, I could go. I got to go from right here, all the way down here. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm actually going to um, exit this video because I basically showed everything that needs to be done in this harness. I got it where I need it. All you do now is just put it in the plug. As you can see, it's right here. And I got to wrap this, which is no big deal. That's not nothing that needs to be really shown. But uh, I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap this side up here. And I'm going to open the wiring harness, and I might try to do a little bit closer video of that, because this is more of an overview, because when you're doing something like this, it's very easy for you not to see it, and I think it's all been pretty seen, hopefully. I'm going to check the video, but uh, but that's all I'm going to show for this, this video, because I don't want it to be too long also, but... Uh, this should be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice evening. Take care. Like and subscribe. Cheers your family and your pets. Have a nice evening. Goodbye.